Now, I am cooking in the kitchen. I hope you don't mind sitting with me. Not at all. <laughs> How would you say that? <laughs> you know, you are now a big city woman. I hope this uh, smoke from the firewood will not be disturbing you. No, I might be a city girl, but I haven't forgotten where I'm coming from. <laughs> this is my route. Ha! Huh? <laughs> 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 So tell me, my friend, how is school treating you? Mm, it wasn't easy at all, but I thank God for everything. <sighs> Guess what? What? You're talking to the latest graduates in town. <laughs> really? Yes. <sighs> this is good news. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Uh -uh. Done and dusted. This is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. I, it, you know, while I was in school, everywhere was just, you see some of my friends. <laughs> but I don't even know. Gee, why, Oma? <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you. I'm so impressed. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you. <laughs> well, I didn't expect anything less from you because I know you have your father's grave. Oh, <laughs> I know you will say that. Yeah. Eh, when the child does well, the credit goes to the father. Uh, Ugochi, don't be like that. You know that my brother was an intelligent man. You know it. <laughs> if not for condition, I'd have to go to Doctor. Uh -huh. Or have a list. Don't worry now. Hmm? At least you have a daughter that will soon become a medical doctor. Uh -huh. uh, you see, you <laughs> uh, That is my only consolation. That is my only consolation. <laughs> <laughs> if your father was alive today. You would have witnessed this wonderful day with us. Mm. Mm. Gochi, don't worry. Wherever my brother is, I know he's happy. I know he's proud of his daughter. And if he has been alive, he will do everything possible to make sure the daughter acquires university education. And for that, whatever it will cost, for Chinelu to complete her university education, I will take care of it. Hmm. Oh, God, thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> My old friend. Thank you. You're such a good man. Gallery now. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. My brother loves me so much. I know. I, I love him too. He would have done the same thing for my children if it's the other way around. Thank you. <sighs> so, my love, thank you. Chinelo, always remember the good year it has always been. I study it out. I trust you. I know you will never do anything that will bring shame to this family. I won't. I won't offer that promise. Thank you. You're welcome. I thank you. I'll keep my part. Just do your part. <sighs> My thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Look at that, Santos. You know what exactly is wrong with you? I said I'm fine. You've been like this for days and you've been You go to nurse. And you can't stand the smell of food. Eh? I can't do this. Oh. Uh, are you pregnant? Pregnant? God forbid. Here, what? Ah, Mama, how can you say that? You, know? you can't say a thing like that. God better forbid. Okay, so he better forbid you because your education is at stake. I know what your uncle said. Did it's written all over you. Eh? The size of pregnancy is written all over you. Stand less than seen us. Mama said there's no need for that. I think you stand up. Hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. Stand up, come on. Stand up, what is up? Hello, go. Hey, 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 hey. You're holding your breath as one eat him, no? no. She and eat him, eh? You are pregnant. Chidelo, you are pregnant. Kaya Funo, Saya. Let's go. Chidelo, I'm disappointed in you. I saw you as a girl with a very high moral standard. Chidelo, how could you bring this type of shame into this family? I used to see you. As a girl with high moral standard, I use you as an example to other children in this family on how best to behave. How could you break our thoughts this way? How? It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Surely it's a mistake. When you were busy pulling your clothes, spreading your legs, you didn't know that a mistake would bring you disgrace. Surely you are a disgrace. You see, you, I tried my best to train you well, and God will bear me witness. Okay, you will disgrace yourself and not me. Inolia, disgrace. They are called. I should have the shining light of this family. Can you imagine? How can you do this? This is your plan all the way. To go to the university and be sleeping around with boys. No member of this family will enter the university with an unwanted pregnancy. We will not tolerate such a shame. So it's obvious whatever you thinking on your head, you are not on your own. And there is nothing I can do about that. The water you poured on yourself is what is making you cold. Oh, Uncle, please. Please don't leave me like this now. I am begging you. Don't do this to me. It was a mistake. Please. Please. Oh, my God, sister. Mistake has consequences and you have to bear them. Uh, uh, Uncle, please. Hey! Make it for Make me. Make it for me. Just for yourself. You put him along with the You put him along with it when you disgrace. When you are busy spreading your legs. Hey, Maro! You want me to beg your uncle? Chidelo, you are a disgrace. I, I, I knew I trained you well and God knows I did my best. Chidelo, your father married me a virgin. Eh? I don't know who you resemble. Amaro, Mama I don't know. Eh? So what you put upon yourself now? University, Mbazi. Mbazi, stay. Oh God. Eh? Hey. 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 Yeah? By the way, who is responsible? Eh, hey, Chidelo. Chidelo, who is responsible for this pregnancy? Oh, it's a bomb. Hey. Chidelo. 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 A penny for your thoughts? Nothing. Nothing. I'm actually very happy for you. Chinelo. I'm your very good friend. I know you're happy for me. But your tears says otherwise. Hmm? Come here. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? You're something wrong with you. What's your big boy? Chinelo Oracle. Are you mad? Eh? Don't, 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 leave me! It was just a mistake! Of course it is a mistake! No, what stupid mistake I'm asking you because you can never do anything good in your life! You can never do anything right! Did you see anywhere else to play football? Did you see it? I warned Mama about this football! I warned Mama about buying football for him! But Mama never listens to me! Uh-uh! 
Mommy, I'm sorry. Once again, sorry, so long. Well. Sorry, kill you there. You are very stupid. Why are you telling me sorry? No, 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 no. You are very stupid. Sinead, no, no, no. Stop it. Idiot. It was just a mistake. The, the boy played the boy at the wrong direction. You will not have to kill her. Of course it is a mistake. Because everything about him is a mistake. Idiot! What? Fool! Uh, Nayo, come. Come. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Hmm? I got this for you. I wanted to give you before leaving. But right now, take it. Go inside. I'll talk to you later, okay? Go. Go. What has come over you? What is wrong with you? Why would you say all this in front of that little boy? That boy ruined my life. That boy made my life stand still. That boy shut out my dream. I can't believe after all these years, you're still holding on to your past. Why are you making it look as if it's this little boy's fault? Why won't you move on? Learn to let go! It is his fault. And how can I let go? When the one thing that reminds me of my past is always before me, staring at me every day. How can I let go? When the one thing that reminds me of my past is always before me, staring at me, day in, day out. How can I let go? When my, 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 my dreams of attaining greater heights is now a mirage. Now tell me, how can I let go? You're making it look as if it was Nayo's fault. None of these things was his fault. His coming into this world was as a result of circumstances. And nobody knows what the future holds in both. As long as oxygen and carbon dioxide still passes through your nostril. It is his fault. Don't even tell me otherwise. It is his fault. Look at you. A graduate. While I am here, a forgotten product of misery. It's about I had dreams. You know, I had dreams. You know how badly I wanted to go to school, study medicine, and become a medical doctor. It's your you, 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 you know how, how I burnt midnight candles. Studying, reading, day in, day out, researching every day just to make good grades in school. I would have succeeded if that boy did not come along. I mean, I don't even understand it. A lot of married couples out there are barren, looking for children. Why didn't he go to them? Why did he come to me? Did I ask for him? Why did he come to me? Chinelo, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I beg you. I beg you to let go. Let it go. You cannot continue to blame that innocent boy for a mistake of two people. Chinelo, he didn't choose to be born. And it was not his fault that the so-called father abandoned him. <laughs> Please, let go. Move on. Eh? Why didn't you, it was not his fault that you opened your legs and got pregnant. Did you come here to mock me? Did you walk into this place to mock me? Chinelo, I am your friend. 
Chinero, I love you so much. And I can only tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. I can never mock you. Please, I beg you. Free your mind. It will do you nothing. It will not cost you anything. Move on. I should move on. I should just move on. Why are you saying this? As if you have not realized that there is no hope for me. There is no hope. No, Chinelo, come on. Come on. There is hope. Okay, don't talk like that. Mm, please. Listen, Chinelo, a friend of mine once told me that once there is life, there is hope. Just look at me. Didn't I fail jam three times? Hmm? I failed jam. But look at me today. I'm a graduate. There's still hope for you. But please, I beg you. Stop all this thing. Hmm? Please. <laughs> it when you cry like this, eh? Do you want to talk about whatever it is? Failed jam does not mean that you're a failure. Eh? Why are you crying like this now? Maka jam. Do you know what that means? That I won't be going to school all of this year. You can apply for precise now. Eh? Or better still, wait and write another jam next year. So what will I be doing a whole of this year? You can learn a skill. My friend, you learn a skill now. See, this, this, this period, eh? skills come in handy. They are very important. There is always hope. You see that, my friend, Chidi? He told me he wrote jam four times. Four good times. But now, he's doing his master's abroad. He only came back because of his father's ill health. Eh? So, you see, just cheer up. As long as there is life. There is hope. So cheer up, my friend. There are plenty of things for you to do. Uh-uh. You can't hey. believe I'm not the entry yeah. university. Oh. But jam bad. These jam people are wicked. <laughs> they are very heartless. I thought I had me raised you. Ah. It's okay. Eh? Don't kill yourself because of jam. Hmm? In fact, at this point, I advise you to hide this result. Because it's like this time you see it, you start crying. Just hide it so you won't be seeing it. But you see my results now. Leave that thing as long as you're not seeing it now. Just cheer up. Hmm? Don't bring it out till you want to bath. No go. Hmm? Listen, if you really, 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 really want to have that university experience, 
go and apply for percent. Go to percent. They treat everybody like undergraduate. Too. They go for lectures. Everything university people do, that is what they do. They have a friend that is there. Uh -uh. She's always telling me what is happening there. Who will go? Oh? Oh. <laughs> Chilele. You see, after feeling jam two times, look at me today. I am now a graduate. All I want to let you know is that you should not give up. Alright? Do not give up. All hope is not gone. It is too late. Just look at me. I am not getting any younger. And my uncle who wanted to sponsor my education has lost faith in me. Sweetheart, it is never too late. Never. You can still go back to school and achieve your dreams. But first, you have to let yourself heal. <laughs> heal. It's, it's not as easy as you make it seem. I know. I know it's not easy. Nothing good comes easy. It's never going to be easy. But you have to take a first step. Do something. Hmm? Whatever happens, I am here for you. Look at me. I will never leave you. Okay? I will always stand by you. Hmm? I will never leave you. I will always stand by you. Okay? Hmm? Don't worry, stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Mm? Ah, check what you're cooking before you get burned. Mm? Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know, the aroma is nice. What's the occasion? My mother is expecting a visitor. Oh, I see. Anyway, you need to add one more visitor. Because I'm here and I'll eat that food. <laughs> what do you want it to be now for me? Of course. I'll eat it. Hmm? That is us. Be focused in life. Mm -hmm. Very nice. But mm -hmm. it would have tasted better if she cooked with a happier continent. She always frowns as if she carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gee, baby. <laughs> my countenance is my countenance. And not for you to worry about. Chinelo. Mama, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I understand. Gee, baby. Baby, you stick, baby. Don't worry. Hmm? I am here now to help you carry your bodies. As <laughs> Jason, mm. hmm? how do you intend to carry my bodies when it is very obvious that your own is weighing you down? See, <clears throat> uh, I'm just trying to make a joke to help you ease your stress. That's all. But your joke is not funny now. Eh? It is very dry. That is why we are not laughing. In fact, your joke is adding to my stress. Listen. Let us cut the chase. I know why you are here. And let me tell you. Whatever it is that brought you to this place. You have failed. It will not work. So any arrangement you have with my mother, I am not a part of it, oh. I am not a part of it at all. I will never, ever in this life, even in the next life, be interested in you. Never. Ask her now, why again? Chile, come back here. Chile, come back here. 
and a word of advice. Next time, when you plan to go to someone's house, do those people a favor and save their noses by taking a bath. Mm. Oh. Then spray perfume. Roll on deodorant. You can even get the cheap, cheap cheapest ones in our summer markets. Be able and to fool her. Where are you gonna go? You're a king. Everywhere. She's not good like this, Biko. Oh. Something is bothering her, Biko. Biko now. Hi. Mama. I call GMO. Thank you for the food. Now. Mama. I call you more. Thank you for the food. Hey, hold me. Hold me. Now. Now. Now, Bia. Bia. Biko, don't be offended. See, Mama. Biko. Mama, listen. It is clear that your daughter doesn't love me. And it's not possible for a whole me to keep on pursuing something that will never be. Eh? Okay, if I'm good man, I don't can we get out now. Take any now. Oh, anyway, Biko, oh, don't be offended. Biko, oh, be other man. She's not in a good mood. Eh. Uh. Biko. Mama, uh. I have tried. What I have tried. See, eh? You see that your daughter, I wish her good luck. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. I'm not saying I have food in the camera. Since she has lost the opportunity of going to school, she also wants to lose the opportunity of getting married, considering her condition. Mama, don't worry, eh? I'll talk to her. She'll have a rethink, okay? Don't worry yourself. I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid, though. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. She will come around and definitely marry a husband that will bring back the joy of this family. Hmm? I know that's what you want. Relax your mind. Hmm? Talk to her. No problem. Talk to her. Let me be on my way. Talk to her. I will. Talk to her. Bye, Mama. Chinelo. Chinelo. What was the meaning of that? What was the meaning of what? Don't answer my question with question. You know what I'm talking about. He has body odor. Uh uh. Mama, who is he fool? Eh? I can't believe you, you. You are so desperate for me to get married that you you overlooked that fact. Then don't you perceive it? Either you see it. You find fault in every man that comes to seek for a hand in marriage. Am I the reason you didn't go to school, Chinelu? Eh? Um, I'm not the cause. Uh, Mama. Please. Don't go there. Don't go there. No. I will go there. Since you brought it up. Eh? Blaming everyone except yourself. What is your problem? What do you expect? A patalon ka rosin gole pe puti ole le. A de patalon ka rosin gole pe Hmm? Okay. Mama. I have heard. I have heard you. Don't come and remind me of my problems. Please. I, I did not say anything, no. But you implied it. Chinelu. It's high time you came back from that high place to place yourself and face reality. A woman is like a flower, fresh and beautiful in the morning. But when that's in the evening, time is running out. Oh, then I got you, I got you. The you get married, the better for you. I need grandchildren. Tell what are you expecting? Eh? If you open your hands to receive gifts from men, also open your legs. And earlier, to receive anything they give you. 
Tinelu, time is running out. Oh God, Rose. The earlier you get married, the better for you. I need grandchildren. Okay, Nolia? Grandchildren. Legitimate ones. Oh, oh, oh. Like your father. You say that you never walk Again. I'm not going again. Your money has expired. Can we attend the situation so we can what? at least get to where we are going to? Get to where? Fast! Walk fast before I remove these ears that you don't I hear. Stop. Stop. Come on, stop it! Can't you see you're hurting the boys? Oh, me. Can't you see you're hurting the boy? How is it your business? How is it your business? I'm asking you. It is none of your business how I treat my son, no? Oh, he's your son? And you're treating him that way? Yes! He is my son. And I will treat him however I want without you interfering. Well, ma'am, the fact that he's your son don't give you the right to abuse him like that. Chimu! Chimu, come! Who do you think you are? Well, my name is Anastasia Suko. I am a lawyer and an activist. And I can sue you for physically abusing this poor child and inflicting pain on him. <laughs> oh, you are a lawyer. Nyaki Jeko. Eh? Stressing the lawyer part as if it's something very important. Mbano, Madam Lawyer, you are going to sue me for disciplining my own son. No, Madam Lawyer, I'm asking you. You will sue me for disciplining my own this son. This is not about discipline, that's torture. Listen, I can see that you are one of those educated people who think that they are better than everyone else. Walking around. Hanging their shoulders as if their sheets don't smell. Poking their noses into other people's businesses. But madam, listen, you know, whoever you think you are, stay away from my business. Madam, remove your nose from my business. Don't say I did not want you. And don't say I didn't do anything good for you in this life. Wow. Try me. He is my son. Maya. I can do to him. I can not punk him. If I, I can even kick him. Hey, Diana, come back. I have not finished demonstrating. Hey, Diana, look at him. I am doing what? Hey, hey, you are right. Come, come, come back here. Come, yeah, me.
being a city girl, but I haven't forgotten where I'm coming from. Mm? <laughs> this is my roots. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> ha! So tell me, my friend, how is school treating you? Mm, it wasn't easy at all, but I thank God for everything. <sighs> Guess what? What? You're talking to the latest graduate in town. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> this is good news. Yes. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Uh -uh. Done and busted. This is cool. <laughs>
Now this is called a tripod. Anyone can This is where you fix your camera. Good. Yes, you are very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Should be told, I, I, I like this place. You know, I like this place a lot. It's beautiful. Yes. Very quiet. Yes. That's the is. one thing I like about it. Yes, it is. Ah, very. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like those shoes. I threw you over there. You see it? <laughs> yeah, but it's not as near as it looks. That tree is really far. I love adventures. Why don't we go through the bush to that tree? <laughs> I. It's fine. Good. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I told you to stop doing that. I'm sorry about that. I just like the way it makes you feel. How are you? I'm fine. How long have you been here? About an hour. I actually thought you wouldn't make it. Well, um, I'm sorry I was with my father. Oh, yes. It's okay, I, I understand. How is he? He's not getting any better. Oh. At all. Everything that has been done medically to tackle this ailment has failed. It's okay. Don't worry about it. He will be fine. Nothing will happen to him, okay? I hope so. Okay. Listen, I, I want to show you something. What? Just wait. Ta da! Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Do you like it? I love it. I, I want a copy of it. How do I get it? Okay. I will make a copy for you and then I'll keep this one. I'll use this to remember our love, <laughs> our bond, and everything we share. Hey, you don't have to be afraid, okay? 
When I said I love you, I meant it. And I promise you, nothing will ever make me leave you. Are you serious? Of course. Of course I'm serious. And that is because I love you so much. And I want to be with you forever. <sighs> Come here. I was I love you, okay? I just want to die. Why will you wish yourself dead, she? Am I not better dead? But answer me. This thing that I'm living is it life? Mm. Is it life? No. Enough of this nonsense coming out of your mouth, she. I understand what you have made me. But it's not the end of the world. Of what use is the world to me when my life has been shattered beyond repair? My life is like a broken glass. A glass broken into thousand tiny pieces without any hope of being mended. Each time I try to gather it, I get wounded. Hi! Jenny, do not let the happening in your past determine your entire life. There is still so much to live for. Big one, do not kill yourself. Oh, Chi? No. God still have so much in stock for you. You know, go Jimmy, become one. You know? It's okay. Because, you know? I'm here for you. You know? We will go through it together. You know? See? Your mom is here for you. It's okay. You know? Something like what, Mama? What is there to live for? I watched my life dissolve before me. Mama, I have a feeling. No. He did nothing wrong but be born. He is your son, my grandchild. Nobody detects the element that determines the tide of history. That boy is a curse. God forbid you. I forbid you to utter such utterances from your mouth. It's an abomination. I curse the day he was formed in my womb. Do you know? Eh? You better accept your fate. Eh? And accept that boy as your son and treat him with love and care. You owe him that much. I owe him nothing. I don't owe him anything. It is better for him to die because his presence here brings me nothing but 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 pain, sorrow, agony. Six years is enough for anyone to heal. Some wounds never heal. That's up to you. If you don't want to heal, keep opening it. Otherwise, take responsibility and do something with your life. Just be sure. I'm 
Mama, why does my mother hate me this much? No mother will hate her child. Hmm? Your mother is going through a lot now. That's not true, Baba. My mother hates me. She hates me, and I don't know what I did to her. Anna, your mother does not hate you. Your mother has been through a lot. Hmm? She does not. No mother will hate her child. You know what? But, Mama. My mother called me a girl. Mama, tell me, am I really a girl? I've told you several to stop listening to people's discussion. I'm sorry, Mama. But, my mother called me a girl. And you are not. Eh? No. You are not. You are a blessing from God to me. And you know grandma loves you so much. Hmm? It's okay. Wipe your tears. Una. Una. Wipe your tears. I love you. Oh? Your mother loves you too. You know that? I'm going to the market. Will you go with me? You can wash your face. You know go. I pray she doesn't destroy this boy you. And I pray she knows what she's doing. My goodness. You mean Chinelo attempted to poison herself? Why would she do that? What for? She wants to take her own life? My daughter needs help. And if we don't do anything about that, we will not only lose our emotional trauma, but to the great beyond. God forbid! Nothing will happen to my friend. So, my please help me. She has been your friend from childhood. Be good. Do everything possible to help her and always monitor her so that she won't kill herself. Be good. Mama, don't worry. Hmm? Just relax your mind. I'll do everything I can. Okay? Trust me. Hmm? Don't worry. Naya? Auntie. Oh, how are you? Auntie, you see me? Okay. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Mama? Okay, I'll see you for later, okay? okay. Buy something for me. I will. Buy yeah. offer for me. So bad. <laughs> no, I love you. Brain. Come on, you don't need to hide your face, girl, because I already saw you. And I must say, you look really beautiful. I also heard that you have a son now without a husband. Oh, that's shameful. Please, um, can you lend me your agric notes? Ngozi, the last time I gave you my notebook to go home, you did not come to school for two days. 
two whole days and I did not see what to study with. Hmm? Are you giving me a Besides, note? why were you not in class when we were copying it? Where were you? Are you giving me or not? <sighs> Please, handle it with care. I'm begging you. Okay. And make sure you come to school with it tomorrow. Else I will not give you my book again. I've heard you. Thank you. Oh. And but... Okay. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. What is it? About your lackadaisical attitude to class. I mean, you're not serious. What is that supposed to mean? Because Isn't they bring their leg? You hardly come to school. You and I know that. You hardly come to school. And then, when you manage to come, the few times you have managed to come to school, you, you always come late. Huh? Even the teachers are complaining. Wait, Chinelo, what's bringing that leg? Or do you think you're better than every, every one of us? No. I, that's not true. I, I only decided to talk to you about it because I care. That's all. <laughs> Look, just because you come first in class and all teachers are praising you does not mean that you're better than every one of us. Okay? Look, the fact that you're doing well in class does not mean that you'll be more successful than everyone in this school. But I never meant it like that. Mm. No, I, I never meant it like that. Have yeah. your book. Shove it off your ass. Nonsense. Chimo, I told you to let her be. But you wouldn't listen. Yeah? Mm. I don't know. Wait, what did I say wrong now? You said nothing wrong. But there are people you don't waste your precious time advising. Let's go. You don't <coughs> left for me. I will not disturb myself. You shouldn't be worrying yourself over someone that you can see she doesn't want to be serious with her studies. It's all of yours. I don't want her to forget that thing. She just put it. Video. Teachers, crazy see. If I had said this, she would have just cut my neck. Chinelo. How did you end up in this village as a village champion? Who would have thought that the almighty Chinelo will become a villain champion? Oh, God. Girl, you look like an old hag. Now I understand the saying, this life no balance. I can see it all with you. You know, they say some are mates in class, but not mates in life. <laughs> Sweetie, you look like an old hag. Please go take care of yourself. You need a total makeover. <laughs> the fire braid today, look. <laughs> you look like an old hag, honestly. <laughs> today, look with the fire braid. <laughs> And then when you manage to come, the few times you have managed to come to school, you, you always come late. Huh? Even the teachers are complaining. Wait, Chinelo, what's bringing that leg? Or do you think you're better than every one of us? <laughs> come on, you don't need to hide your face, girl, because I already saw you. And I must say, you look really beautiful. I also heard that you have a son now without a husband. Oh, that's shameful. Just because you come first in class and all teachers are praising you does not mean that you're better than every, every one of us. 
Look, the fact that you're doing well in class does not mean that you'll be more successful than everyone in this school. Oh, Chinelo. How did you end up in this village as a village champion? Who would have thought that the almighty Chinelo will become a village champion? Oh, God. Girl, you look like an old hag. Now I understand the saying, this life no balance. I can see it all with you. You know, they say some are mates in class, but not mates in life. Mommy. What is it? Eh? Abumono. What is it this time? Mommy, I'm very hungry. Yes, you You are very hungry. Eh? Mbano, pause. Come and eat me. Eat me now, since I now look like food to you. Eat me. Hi! What, what, what is all this? Come, why don't you just go far, far away? Is it that you don't have sense like that, your stupid father? Eh? You don't have sense to know when somebody does not want you. Eh? Disappear now! Or better still, just find some place somewhere. Dig the ground. Bury yourself inside. Just anything. Just get out of my sight. Will you get away from here? Also, such mega Get out from here before I, before I waste that your big head. Look at him. I know, I know. I said, get out. Get out. Born as intelligent girl. I hope in one day I will build my world. Bringing hard every day, starting hard every day. That's one day I will shine up. But my world is shattered. I have lost it all. I don't know what you do. So, after all these years, this house remains the same. No change of any sort. Oh, Chinelo, I was meaning to ask you. How did I get to overtake you? <laughs> oh, while you were busy on the highway chasing for high grades in class that only ends on the teacher's reports on your paper. <laughs> yes, that's when I overtook you. While you were looking for good grades in class, I was looking for good life. Good money, good house, and probably a good man if I so wish. How about I give you some money and hope that you return it by tomorrow? I know you won't because you know you are so lackadaisical with life. <laughs> that dog that opens up for everyone has finally become the bulldog that eats 
the fat bones. And well, the innocent a cookie. The innocent a cookie that attempted to eat the feces of the lepers. What happened? Ended up being infested with the indelible stigmatizing works of life. Chirelu, you gave birth to a bastard. <laughs> what a pity. <sighs> anyway, have that. And please, return it to me in class tomorrow. See ya. What am I living for? Where my life is shattered. Oh, I watch myself <coughs> before me. Blessings in my life. Everything about me is agony and pain. Chinu apagu, apagu wemo. Just a twinkle of an eye. What happened? Oh my god, you're crying. Wait, I think I remember you. You are the boy I saw with his mom the other day. Did she beat you again? She said I should disappear from her. She said I should go far away from her. What? Madame, she said that. Go, let's go. Don't worry, I'll take you home, okay? No, I don't want to go home. She hates me. No, boo boo, she doesn't hate you. She's your mommy. I don't want to go home. She doesn't want me. Oh my god. You know what? I will talk to her. She's not going to beat you again. Okay? Trust me. Come on, let me take you. Let's go. Don't worry. Trust me. Okay? Trust Auntie. Let's go. Madam, this boy not wash his leg, bro. We just use the leg to the motor. Let's go. I need to always wash the car. Hello, Mama. Hello. What am I living for? Where my life is shattered. Oh, I watch my life be served before me. Oh, Cause I was taking place of blessings in my life. Hello. Can I yo? Chide hello. Mama. Huh? Welcome. Thank you. Where is Anayo? I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? He was with you here before I left. Uh-huh. Is he not grown? Uh -uh. When he feels like coming home, he can always find his way back. Chilling. Can you listen to yourself? Our child left this house without your notice and you're not even bothered. What do you want me to do? Go and look for him. No, I don't have that kind of stress. I do. Chilling, if anything happens to that boy, you have me to confirm. I don't know there. Who kept this money? Eh? Chilelo. Who kept this money? Go in the belega. I don't know. Yeah, you don't know when I go there, but you don't know who got this money. 
Chinelu. Oh, you're the Belega. No. You're crying. What is it? Who is Good this? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, my dear. No. What is it? My name is Anastasia Suku. I saw him by the roadside crying, so I decided to bring him home. You were crying? What happened? Children, brother! What did you do to him? I don't know what you're talking about. Is he not a human being? Human beings cry sometimes. So why is his own different? Chinelu, what did you do to this? I don't like it. Thank you, God bless you. Everybody has a painful secret the world knows nothing about. Some are even more painful because we just wish it's a nightmare. Only for us to realize it's our reality. And we sometimes want to run away or hide from it. I put it to you that you are emotionally perturbed. And I sense transfer of aggression. And what I can't seem to wrap my head around is why you treat this boy with so much hatred. Why so much anger towards your own child, your own flesh and blood? The child of your youth. You. You don't know me. So stop talking like you know me. You're right. I don't know you. But my encounter with you tells me that you are bitter about something. I don't know what it is, but your son is the one feeling the heat. He's too young for that. Way, way too young. All he needs from you is love, care and attention. Sometimes when we talk about the things we go through, it helps us ease the pain and the body. Talk to me. Why would I talk to you about anything? Why? You actually don't have to talk to me. But I advise you talk to someone. I'm a lawyer and a professional counselor. Here is my card. My number is right there. You can call me when you change your mind or whenever you feel like talking. I'm a very good listener and I'm very easy to talk to. Please take it easy on the child. Please. Just be strong if I'm a God knows the best. If I believe in God, to the beginning of my mind, I'm in a catch of breath. I'm in a catch of broken heart. I'm in a catch of breath. If I believe in God, I'm in a catch of breath. I'm in a catch of broken heart. I mean, I got you. Hi. Hi, sugar carrier. Um, can I, yo? Bring the plate. Okay, I'm going to do it.
mistake. It was a mistake. That mistake will kill you. Do you hear me? That mistake will kill you. You evil child sent from the pit of hell to torment my life. Why would you not make a mistake? When everything about you from head to your toe is a mistake. The only place and the only way you know how to do mistake is to destroy my things in this house. But you will not make mistake and die. Idiot! Come on, give up! Give up! Open your eyes now. What kind of joke is this? Come on. Hey! What did I do? Come on, yo! Come on, yo! Come on, yo! Come on, yo! Just don't, 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 don't open your eyes. Come on, look. Hey, what have you done? Come on, look. He's not breathing. Hey! He's not breathing. He's not breathing. No. no. Chibo. Go. Please, Chibu. I beg you. Save my son, no, if you do it, I will never touch him again. Carry him off, carry him off, carry him off, carry him off. Hey! What did I do? What did I, what did I do? Oh. Sweetie, sweetie, my darling, darling, you sweet me, I sweet to you under my sugar pie. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, my darling, darling, ma. you sweet me, I sweet to you under my sugar pie. But are you sure you're for real? Yes, and your love, just give me a chance to prove it to you. In my pie, I follow you, I know, I know, but I must go, you never. 